Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Junkmaster 3 and I'm finally back with a new video. And I know it's been a while, it's been like two weeks or more. Um, and I'm really sorry for that because I've been up traveling uh, to uh, first USA and then Iceland. And uh, the temperature was very different indeed. But of course I picked up some movies. And I was actually thinking about making an update video before I uh, left left Sweden. Uh, so uh, so this is going to be a really big update. So all of these movies I did not buy in the U.S. or on Iceland. So so some of these I bought before I went there. So yeah, I think you probably know what I mean. So let's begin. The first one is Slaughterhouse. Um, this is sort of a bland buy. I just picked it up just because I knew it was uh, a movie from the 80s, and I got it a little bit cheaper than the price. The price is pretty high on this movie, otherwise. So uh, yeah, I just decided to pick it up. And then uh, Slasher. I've not seen it, but I've been very curious about it. Uh, and the movie is Curtains, and that's another Slasher from the 80s. So it might might. Uh, take a place on the watch and review series of all the slasher movies so uh, yeah curtains and then we got a movie called Fatal Games and to be honest I actually cut out this uh, artwork I printed it out from uh, the internet because I got this movie as some sort of bonus when I ordered uh, curtains from a guy who was a very nice seller that uh, uh, that uh, yeah like sent me this one as well but it didn't come with any other cover art or something like that so I decided to make a cover art myself so uh, yeah anyway Fatal Games I didn't make the cover art but I think you know probably know what I mean and then we got the movie the Swedish movie that this one I've been wanting to see for a very long time finally picked it up um, and it's the movie that inspired movies such as Kill Bill and probably, I'm not really sure if this one inspired Lady Snowblood movies, but I'm not really sure. And the movie is Thriller. Uh, a cruel picture or thriller, they call it one eye, it got like a million titles, but I always call it Thriller, uh, a cruel picture, because that's what I've uh, searched for when I yeah, wanted to order it, so yeah, Thriller. And then we got uh, the last movie that I picked up before my um, journey, if you say so. And the movie is Sorority House Massacre. I think this is pretty hard to find on DVD. I'm not really sure if it's any good or not, but it was sort of a blind buy as well. I just knew it was a slasher. I think it was probably from the 80s as well. I'm not really sure, but probably, if you know me right. And now we come to the movies that I picked up in uh, in the U.S. I first I picked up this uh, Triple Three Future, and the movies are The Dead and the Damned, uh, Vile, and Evil Things. And we just seen I just seen two of these, so it might be I might do a big review of all these three movies in the future or something like that. But yeah, here we got them. And then I picked up uh, another sort of collection thing in, uh, in the US and it is this 8 horror film pack which includes um, Intruders, Pumpkin Carver, Visitors, Spirit Trap, Day of the Dead which I already have, that's the stupid remake, uh, and King of the Ants, Trauma and Soul Keeper. And this is, I think you probably already know how it looks, looks like on the inside, it's, and it's a disc behind this as well, but I'm not going to bother by showing that. And then, uh, some this, those were the only titles that I picked up in the US, because surprisingly I found more movies on Iceland than I did on uh, in the US. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, when I was on Iceland, I found a big, big second-hand store which had very many rare titles. I could have picked out maybe 20 titles, but you can't pick 20 titles. You have to think about your economy as well. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to talk any more bullshit about that right now. I'm going to show you the movies I picked up from there. 
The first one was uh, Deliverance, and all of you probably already know about this movie. And I sort of, I felt it was a little bit necessary when I picked this one up, but um, I just kind of love this cover art. I love this cover art much, much more than I had on the other DVD. So, and this is a snap case as well. You like, can probably see right there. So, yeah, anyway, Deliverance. The next one is a slasher which I've heard Lola Spaceman talk about a little bit in his. This video was probably a long while, a long while ago. So, uh, but anyway, the movie is called The Woods, and I had no idea before I picked this movie up that Bruce Campbell was supposed to be in this movie. But I've been tricked by that before that they said that oh, Bruce Campbell is in this movie. He's probably in the movie for a maximum of five million minutes or something like that. I'm not really sure, but. The woods. <coughs> and then we got some Japanese uh, fun, probably. Um, and this movie is directed by Kei Fujiwara, who also, I think he was an actor in Tetsuo, if I'm not mistaken. And this is his movie called Organ. And I've been on the hunt for this movie for a pretty long time right now. Um, I've all this movie always brings me uh, attention because it looks like a really nice extreme movie from Japan and the Japanese makes really awesome extreme movies if you ask me but yeah, Oregon. It's a Synapse Films uh, release as well. And the next one is Living Hell. I, don't, I'm, I think the title is Living Hell. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think this has a lot of other titles. Uh, and what was I, supposed, I was supposed to say something, but I'm not really sure. Uh, Living Hell. And then we got a movie by Sh uh, Shinya Tsukamoto, who also directed Tetsuo and a bunch of other awesome movies. <laughs> Although I'm not really, I don't really think I've seen any other uh, Tsukamoto movies. Not really sure, but the movie is called Hir Hiruku the Goblin, and this is also sort of a plan, but I just know that it's directed by Sh uh, uh, Shinya Tsukemoto, so that's the reason why I picked it up. And uh, I know that it's very rare and pretty hard to find nowadays, so that was another reason why I picked it up, so yeah. And then, when I came back home, I received uh, this one today, uh, Hard Revenge Millie. Uh, bloody battle, which also includes the short movie. Uh, what's it called? The first one is just called Hard Revenge Millie, and the second one is called Hard Revenge Millie Bloody Battle. Uh, sort of a little bit confusing because the first movie I've read somewhere that it's just supposed to be 43 minutes or something like that, and the uh, other movie is supposed to be one hour and 12 minutes or something like that. So. It's a little bit confusing, so uh, yeah, but here, there you got it. Um, Horror Wrench Millie Bloody Battle. And then I actually got two box sets, and this was before I left Sweden. So, uh, and first off, we got this box set, and this is the only TV series that I've seen, like all episodes, because I grew up with them, and uh, it is the complete uh, seasons of Star Trek Voyager, which includes all the seven seasons, all the seven seasons, I'm pretty tired today, so that's probably why I can't speak at all. But anyway, this is my favorite TV series or series at all, uh, of all time, so uh, yeah, not really know, I think I will make a separate uh, video for unboxing this or whatever, so yeah, Star Trek Voyager. And the last box set which I got before I left was this. The reason why I saved this one for the last this update is because it's probably the box set I'm most proud to have. Um, of course, I'm proud to have the Star Trek Voyager box set as well, but that one is not out of print yet, at least. But this one has been out of print for a pretty long time now, and the box set is guinea pig box sets which includes all the guinea pig movies uh, Devil's Experiment, Flower of Flesh and Blood, Mermaid in a Manhole, He Never Dies, Android of Notre Dame, uh, Devil Doctor Woman, Guinea Pigs, Greatest, 
greatest cuts, I think it's some sort of behind the scenes or something like that. And it's raised by an unartered, I can't pronounce it, I'm really so sorry, Unearthed, fi unearthed Films. Uh, I don't really have that many releases from that uh, company or whatever, but I've gotten more and more into these, uh, into these, uh, into their releases of movies, if you say so. so. And I'm probably going to make a separate video for this one as well. But I know that there's like one million uh, videos about this box set all over the all over YouTube. But I'm still going to do it for those of you who want me to do it. So yeah, the guinea pig box set. Now I'm very sorry because I've talked way too much right now. Um, about 10 minutes or so. So I, I better shut up and end the video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored and I hope to see you again as soon as possible so see you next time bye bye